Hey everyone, and welcome back to From the Road. This week, I got to celebrate my mother's birthday, 29, of course, and uh, we headed down to Endicott, New York. That's down in the Binghamton area. Uh, it was a beautiful weekend, good weather, although we drove through a monsoon to get there, it looks like, uh, but we made it and the people were great. One thing I love about upstate New York people is that it feels like we're a family wherever we go. So it was really great to be in upstate New York again. One of the ladies that I met was really sweet and she is a self-avowed groupie. Uh, so she said she follows me on all of my social media and stays on my uh, bi-weekly newsletter, which you can find by texting FORWARD to 66866. That's the word FORWARD, that's what you're texting, uh, to the number 66866, not three sixes. Uh, that joke will never get old, right? So uh, this sweet lady who is my self-avowed groupie, uh, she was sharing a story with my mom actually about her son. And in 2002, her son, uh, he was gay. Um, he decided to take his life because he did not feel that people would accept him as he was. And so his mother um, has has decided to keep track of what I'm doing. And um, it was just a really great moment to see her joy, um, you know, to, to take this, this difficult thing that had happened to her and say, this is how the world is changing and this is how the church is changing and how can I be part of that? So I'm really privileged because I have a great family and I get to go to churches that are accepting and, and my hope is to use that privilege that I have of having a safe space and create that for all people in all places. So that's, that's why this summer means so much to me and, and in the ongoing future of the Methodist Church. Because I know I'm privileged in that way and so I want to create those spaces for everyone else. So let's take a look at some of the great people from this church. Okay, um, my name is Michaela Burek and I'm part of Central United Methodist Church in Endicott, um, New York. And I moved here a couple of years ago from a, a large evangelical church in North Carolina. Um, it was a great church to be part of at the time uh, when I was in college and I was a worship leader there. We had several college students come to church and it was really a beautiful experience for me to, to be able to lead worship like that. Um, after about being being part of that church for about five years, uh, I met my wife Susie, and um, when when we came out, they asked us to leave the congregation. So, um, so I was no longer allowed to be a worship leader with that church. Um, and so when I moved to New York, it was really a blessing and um, really, uh, frankly, unexpected to find a reconciling congregation so close to home. Um, and so we're really blessed to be part of Central and and looking forward to just being involved in leadership and, and seeing what else this church has, has for us in the future. I'm Michelle Bogue-Trost. I pastor at Central United Methodist Church in Endicott, New York, I, uh, which is a reconciling congregation. And when we made that decision about three years ago, um, we decided that ministry is foremost hospitality and love and grace. and to become a reconciling congregation here meant we were moving forward into a future in which God's kingdom of love and acceptance is the kingdom, is the way of life and the way of being. And so that's what we're trying to do here and it's helping us move forward into whatever the denomination may do or be later. And we're back. Pastor Michelle is a great old friend, not old, but uh, a, a long time friend. And she, she's just so full of joy. And she helped me celebrate my mother's birthday and they had a cupcake with sparklers and it was really sweet. And so we had a great time and we had a forum after where we talked about the future of the United Methodist Church uh, as complex and um, you know muddy as that can be. But it was a great time with these folks here. And it's just a reminder to me that no matter where you are in the world, you're not alone. There are churches all over the world that are for inclusion, that say God's love is for everyone and we're going to be part of changing society and changing our church. So together we are moving forward into this uncertain and unknown time. So be patient, but be bold. Thanks everybody, have a great summer.